All right, guys, here is my 2021 to 2022 New Year's fireworks setup. I'll give you some uh, rundown on what I got. Uh, I take uh, liquid nails the night before. I did this uh, 24 hours, so you got to have time for this to dry. And I use liquid nails and I glue all of these down to the plywood so that they won't fall off when I'm lighting everything. So that's how they're all staying put. Um, everything on the perimeter is a flaming, is listed as a flaming balls type of firework. Like uh, that one says, suits flaming balls. And most of them say that. The ones in the middle are all sparklers, or they like, say emits showers of sparks. So I'm going to take these off. I'm not going to keep these on here. I'm going to set them off to the side by themselves. They're also glued to this piece of wood. Um, mainly because I end up with way too much uh, sparks and fire that makes it harder for me to go around and light all the, you know, the, ex the high explodey stuff, so to speak. Um, so I get those out of the way. The boxes down here on the floor are some of these are mortar tubes I've accumulated over the years. And then I made some mortar tubes out of exhaust pipe a few years ago. A lot of people tell you not to do that. Don't necessarily recommend that you do it. But, you know, I decided to do it that way. Um, for safety reasons, what I've done is I've, they're all either welded down to a sheet of metal or a piece of plywood. They're screwed down. Um, but the, I built boxes around them and then filled them full of sand so that if I happen to have a ground detonation from one that doesn't come out of the tube, um, hopefully, you know, between the sand and the box itself will absorb the uh, explosion and it won't, you know, send shrapnel everywhere to where you end up getting hurt. Um, even though these are cardboard, I mean, if they blow up on the ground too, you're still going to get a big old fireball and I don't want to be standing around that either. So this should cut down on that. You know, I might get showered with some sand. Hopefully that'll be about it. Uh, the kits I bought were two of these boxes. They were hundred dollars each from a store that starts with an S and M's with an M's. So you can figure that one out. And then I bought one more box that had nothing but mortars in it. All total, about uh, $250 to $300, I think. It was, each one of these boxes were 100 bucks. The other one was 60 So, you know, for what it is, this actually um, is really, really cheap for, for what you get. You try to buy this stuff at one of these uh, road, road stand uh, fireworks display places, and you're going to pay out the wazoo for the little bit you do get. Um, so... In my opinion, if you want to have a decent amount of fireworks to do some type of finale or to really get your money's worth, the, the uh, buying them this way seems to be a, a good way. At least that's how I've been doing it for the last several years. We'll uh, follow up this video or the end of this video with uh, the actual fireworks display. So appreciate you guys checking it out and we will see you on the next one.